Hey everyone, it's Caroline and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I thought I would do a books I'm bringing on my trip video. Today it is Thursday and on Sunday I'm leaving for a 12 day trip. So I'm going to be on the plane and we're going to be taking a lot of train rides. So I am probably going to get a lot of reading done during that trip. So I wanted to just bring you through all the books that I'm going to bring on the trip and also deciding what books to bring as well because I have a bunch on my physical TBR and I'm not sure how many I want to bring because I don't have a lot of room obviously so I'm going to also bring my Kindle and I downloaded a bunch of books onto it already so I thought the first I would just go through all the Kindle books that I am planning to bring and then I will go through my physical TBR books. So the first book I am going to be bringing is Always and Forever Lara Jean. I am kind of late to the party but I started reading the series last month I think and I have only the last book left. They read so quickly and I've been really enjoying them. And I was just scrolling through and it says, for my dear readers, this one's for you, which I think is literally so sweet. And it has an Anne of Green Gables quote at the beginning. So obviously I am into that. So I'm excited to read this one. I think that this could also be a good book to read on the plane. So the next book I'm bringing is The Spanish Love Deception. And I am really excited to read this. I've heard like mixed reviews about it. Like you either love it or you hate it and romance books like straightforward romance books are not really my thing so this will definitely be interesting but i feel like it would be a good book to read on vacation so i'm excited okay so the next book i am bringing is defend the dawn obviously i love to defy the night it's one of my favorite books and obviously i have to be continuing the series and then the next thing i'm bringing so i've been really into yona the dawn recently currently reading volume four i'm probably i'm gonna finish it today and and then I downloaded volumes five and six to my Kindle. Now on to my physical TBR. Okay, so I'm filming this part a little bit later, so sorry if the lighting has changed. So I have my three books on my physical CBR that I am considering bringing. So first I have the Atlas Six, and I got this a few weeks ago, and I've been so excited to read it. It's 373 pages, so that could be a good plain ride read. And then... Daisy Jones is 351 and then Half a Soul is like 280. Yeah, definitely will be reading this on the plane ride there. I think that I could probably read the whole thing like between the airport and then the plane ride because I think the plane is five hours and then plus you know an hour in the airport so i'm so excited to read this i want to tab it and oh yeah this is so sad after tabbing defy the night this is what happened to my tabs i will be bringing that to tab i'm so excited to read this because in the barnes and noble that i went to they had the recommendation tag where it said pride and prejudice and howl's moving castle is like what this book is it's like the best combination ever so i'm actually so excited to read this book Hopefully that i'll have a fun time so then now we have decision time okay so my final decision so i feel like i may go with this book because i feel like i should read this so that i know what the hype is and then i will save this for the fall because i feel like it's more of a gives like fall vibes so i think i'm gonna bring this to college with me and then i can read it then so two books that i'm bringing and then my kindle so i'm hoping to get a lot of reading done i think that i will but i will keep you updated on what i'm reading so i have a video going up on wednesday which is my reading vlog that i will not be posting for at least another week and a half but i will have lots of content ready for when i get back and yeah so i hope that you enjoyed this video it was a little bit random but you know i had fun i always have fun filming so expect a reading vlog on wednesday and i'm really excited for that one and then i will not be posting for like a week and a half so i am taking a mini break but i will be back yeah so two books plus my kindle and i'm so excited so thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for my upcoming videos when i get back and yeah okay 
Okay, so hey, that was not the end of the video. So basically, after I finished filming yesterday, I checked Libby and literally all of my holds came in for other books that I had holds for. So I just thought I would go through all the books that decided to just come in right after I finished filming. First, my hold for The American Remade Experiment came in. My hold for Restore Me came in. I need to finish the Shatter Me series, so I'm super excited for that. And then Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy. So we have all of those and I just thought I would come on here and update. So that is my update and those are the books I'm bringing. 11 books. You know, I'm probably only gonna get through like three and then I'm saying I'm getting through all these but whatever. That is fine. I hope that you enjoyed. It was a little bit chaotic, a little bit random but you know it's fine. It's fine. That is the video and yeah bye.